today. If you don't know me, my name is Adeli and today I'm going to show you how to transform a dress that I got at a thrift store and this is a cool idea if you have any um, items in your closet that you're not very happy with and that you would like to give them a new look or maybe like your mom's, your aunt, your grandmother dress that uh, it maybe doesn't fit you or it's a little bit old school and you can transform it into something completely new and super modern and pretty that fits you perfectly. So I really hope you like this idea. Before we start with the video, please don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the future videos of this channel. But without further ado, let's start with the video. This is the dress before. As I told you, I bought it from a thrift store and it was a bit big on me and the design, it was a bit dated, so I decided to transform it. The first thing I did was cut the length. For this, I tried on the dress and measured the desired length and made a mark considering adding one more inch for the hem. Fold the dress in half and mark this measurement along the entire base of the dress and then cut along the marked lines. Afterwards, I will cut the sleeves since they are a bit big and I don't really like this style very much. So I cut inside of the seam to leave it sleeveless and once the first one is done, we fold the dress in half and cut the second one so they are even. Since the dress is too big on the sides and it already has a zipper on the back that I do not want to touch, I made some marks on each side with the correct measurements so that it fits properly and I will cut the two sides along the marked lines all the way down cutting the seams and this way the dress will be open on both sides. With the sleeves that I cut out of the dress before, I will make some pockets for the dress because I love it when dresses have hidden pockets. So I will cut the part of the arm this way and also cut the seam off until it looks like this and we repeat this process with the other sleeve. Then we cut the pockets by the folds so that we have two equal pieces as shown and we do the same with the other one so that we have two pairs. Then we measure the side of the dress downwards and decide how high or low we want our pockets to be and we pin one of the pocket pieces at the desired height joining the fabric right side together like shown with the curved side down. We sew the edge to join the two pieces until it looks like this and repeat this step with the other three sides of the dress making sure that they are all aligned. We will have one piece in the front and one in the back on each side for a total of four. Afterwards, we will proceed to join the sides of the dress and we will do it following the edge of the side. But when we reach the pocket, we will sew along the edge of it to close the seam this way, lifting the foot of the machine and turning the fabric each time that we get to one of the corners as shown in the video. Then I decided to change the top design of my dress and instead of being sleeveless, I will make it a halter with tin straps. So I tried on the dress and marked this lines on my body to decide how much to cut it. I cut this part from the armhole to the neckline and once it's ready, fold the dress and make the same cuts on the other side. Using the excess fabric that we cut from the bottom of the dress, I cut this 1.5 inch white straps and for the length, I used the total circumference of the armhole. To find out the armhole length, we measure the armhole of the dress and add approximately 6 inches to join the back and the front of the dress. I took my strips of fabric and turned them into bias binding by folding both ends towards the center and then in half to form four sections and then I ironed it to mark each of the sections and make it easier to manipulate. We take our bias binding and place it at the base of the armhole inside of the dress and we will sew along the first iron marked as shown and once we reach the end of the front of the dress, we do a back stitch to secure it and then we leave about 6 inches without sewing 
and then proceed to sew the bias binding to the back of the dress in the same way we did the front until we reach the point where we started. Afterwards, we fold the bias binding over the edge of the armhole and cover the seam we did before as shown in the video. And we will sew as close to the edge as possible all around the armhole and then when we reach the space we left unsewn before, we will simply fold the bias binding and sew along the edge to form our strap and then continue to sew the back normally until we reach the starting point and secure it with the back stitch to finish. Finally, we make a double hem folding the fabric twice so that we have a clean edge on the inside and we sew all around it until it looks something like this and the dress is ready. This is how it looked before and with this modification, the end result is this. Modern, fresh, youthful and perfect for summer. It can be dressed up or down depending on the accessories you pair it with and I really love the result and I cannot wait to wear it over and over again this season. And that's how easily you can transform a dress that you can give new life and you don't have to throw it away or give it away or anything like that. You can give it new purpose and it's going to be a super fun project to work on now that we are all at home. So I really hope you like this idea. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos of this channel. As always, it was a pleasure for me being here with you today and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!